Hey everybody, I'm downstairs in the bong, in the collections room here, and uh, one thing that we're going to talk about today is our 15th anniversary coming up. It's actually September 24th, but we're going to celebrate it on October 5th as part of the Beers and Cheers here at the center, and uh, it's going to be from 6 to 8, beer and wine tasting, it's going to be awesome. But one thing that we wanted to talk about today is part of the reason, well, the big reason why we were formed. We're a museum. We're here to honor, preserve, and interpret, interpret that's a hard word, uh, veteran stories of the Northland. And I always call them the best stories in the Northland because they really are. Uh, veterans have played an important role in the development of our community, and it's just very important for us to tell these stories and collect them here. And so, as you can see, I'm in one of the uh, uniform areas. And we're going to go over and talk to Karis, one of our interns, get to know her a little bit better. And uh, I'm going to do a quick side shot here because there's Brianna and Ryan. Ha! I told you I was going to get you in the video. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, we're going to come over here and we're going to talk with Karis. Karis is right here. Hello. See, and I got to go way down because she's like three feet tall. <laughs> No, um, Karis, you're an intern here, yeah. and uh, what school do you go to? Tell us a little bit about yourself and what you're doing. Yep, so I'm a senior, should be at UMD. <laughs> Wait a minute, <laughs> senior should be? I'm pretty sure I'm graduating. <laughs> okay, I yeah. won't ask you about why you might not be graduating, but no, anyway. You're senior at UMD, mm -hmm. and what's your major? Yep, so I'm his major in history, uh, museum studies certificate, and oh. a deaf studies minor. Oh, wow, okay, so then... I'm assuming you want to do museum work after you graduate? Yes. <laughs> what uh, what kind of museum work do you want to do? Well, I really like working in collections, but I'm also a little bit interested in management uh, and directorship side of that as well. Well, then you and I need to talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need to talk more often. Um, but you're helping out with our uh, Dick Bong exhibit redo mm -hmm. here. And uh, like I said at the start of the video, one thing that... I gotta get down. <laughs> well, one thing that I, um, when I started out talking is that... Uh, the main reason we were formed is to honor, preserve, and interpret, you know, veteran stories of the Northland. Mm -hmm. And this is what we do. So this is why we're here. This is the main mission. Um, and one thing that when I came down and asked uh, Brianna and you about this idea is you guys were working with uh, Dick Bong's medals. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to flip around and Karis is going to give us a little walkthrough on some of these are actual medals that Dick Bong was awarded during his service. So why don't you start over on this one, what's this one? Yep, so this is the Silver Star. Yep. And then this one is the Air Medal. This was awarded for um, bravery in aerial flight and he was awarded this 15 times. 15 times, wow, okay. The Distinguished Service Cross. Mm-hmm. And then the Distinguished Flying Cross. Okay. And then down here, we have his wings. His actual wings that he was awarded. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm doing this the wrong way. <laughs> and then right here, um, that's the pin that would have been on his uh, visor cap as well. On his, on his cap that yeah. he wore. Okay. And then um, the air medal, he was awarded 15 times, mm -hmm. right? And so that air medal, uh, we were just talking about that they would have shown that differently, too, for a lot of times if they were awarded a, a medal multiple times. How, did, how would they show that one? Yep, so there would be different oak leaf clusters, so he wouldn't get 15 of the same metal. He'd yep. get um, different oak clusters. And then if you have, I think the silver is five. Mm -hmm. um, so if you have a silver oak leaf, that's going to denote five oak leaves. So okay. he probably would have had two silvers and four bronzes, I think. That's the UMD math right there. <laughs> yeah. No, very cool. Um, so are you enjoying what you're doing here? Yeah, having a good time. Yeah, and I know you also volunteer or intern Another place, too. Where do you do yes, that? Yes, uh, I work uh, at Glensheen. And what do you do there? I am a historic housekeeper and uh, once was tour guide. Cool. Yeah. So you're, you're getting all sorts of Northland history. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> very, very different kinds. So, yeah. Um, well, I'm super glad that you're here and that you're doing an awesome job with this. And uh, we'll look forward to that. So we're going to try and do... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> We're gonna. We got 15 days between now and when the uh, the uh, the beers and cheers event happens on August October 5th. The um, and we're gonna try and do highlight 15 items from the collection, kind of showing off uh, some important things here at the center and really showcasing why we're here. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. October 5th, beers and cheers. Come hang out. Uh, Castle Danger, Blacklist, Bent Paddle, Murphy Good Wine. It's gonna be awesome. It's free. So come on, hang out. Thanks. Bye.